Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's update our view on the gold market. So in general our expectation that market should climb slightly higher to the 1835-1838 area. Now it's completed mostly so market is calling around this area but it's really um, not quite curious but uh, well specific type of action here across the board not only in the gold market but if we'll take a look at the forex since you can see the same so actually it seems that market is waiting for something yes it might be CPI it might be Fed minutes tomorrow but in the previous moments when the same data was released I not remember such kind of the silent on the market so probably maybe it is no information in the public media but who knows maybe some inside maybe some rumor stand around uh, some other news that might follow because as you know geopolitical situation stands very tough and uh, who knows maybe big whales really do know something anyway um, why I think about this as well is just because take a look at gold performance. So this is it seems some thrusting acceleration stands here with the flat action on the other currencies and actually flat action on the United States dollar. It seems that some uh, its own driving factors exist in geopolitics. Usually the one of the major driving factors for the gold, as you can see this type of action. Anticipation of this strong CPI hardly should be supported for the gold. Um, that's why either it is anticipation of the weak CPI or something else stands behind. And I suppose that the second variant is more probable. Anyway, speaking on the technical picture, we said that we need to keep an eye on the possible hand and shoulders and market stands at the vital point where the clarity should happen, should come. Because it's a lot of things stands on the table. Because in the case of the upper action, hand shoulders will be erased. And this is automatically suggests the taking out of the stop. It's moving higher. In this case, uh, the most probable scenario will be at least this ABCD pattern to the upside, right? Okay, so we'll get something of that sort. Potentially, it might be, I mean, only on a daily chart, the butterfly with 1910 area could be hit. So I'm not even speaking about larger patterns, right? That we could get here as well. It's just based on the daily time frame. So that's why the current moment is very important because it will tell you where the cold should go. Uh, speaking directly on this hand and shoulders passion, of course, this type of action that we see here is not good for bearish reversal passion because you have the acceleration in the last stage of the bearish passion. This is bad, especially when you have pretty nice sell off on the head. So. I would treat this as uh, chances on the failure of this pattern is really significant. And that's why you should be extra careful when you intend to take some position, especially if you would like to anticipate the possible reversal or upper breakout. From that standpoint, maybe, maybe in such scenarios, usually makes sense to think about using stop orders, stop entry orders instead of uh, limited limit orders. So if we'll take a look at the full time from chart, Market gradually is climbing to XOP target, which is 1838 approximately. Uh, market is going stubbornly, but not without the choppiness. So it's just gradual pushing higher. As you can see, very small pauses and just upward continuation. So currently stands, as I said, market stands quiet and it already has broken 1825 area. This is not good for a bearish pattern. I suspect that if and probably it will happen, any action will happen either upside to the downside, it will be very strong. So it will not, not be just some sideways action and that's why. So probably we will get some straightforward upward acceleration here or it will be sharp downside reversal. 
from that standpoint, it makes sense to maybe use the stop orders, at least in the taking the long position. If you are uh, risky person enough and you would like trying to um, trade current situation uh, on the market, for instance, you could try to place stop buy order some slightly above the XOP. In this case, in, in an upper breakout, you would step in and market will just keep going higher. Uh, for a short entry, I don't know, well, maybe it is not as critical to think about the stop order, but uh, for a short entry, probably um, it will be a bit far standing stop because, well, placing the stop just above the head, it will be approximately $20 per contract, it is far. And um, taking the short position and placing stops slightly above the exo bit might be risky because volatility in the two sessions might increase. That's why for taking the short position, maybe, maybe, it makes sense, actually, it makes sense to wait for reaction. Once it will start it, it will be easier to take the position once it already will start. Or if you have the opportunity, you could decrease your trading volume and place stop above the head. And then keep keep watching what will happen with the upper fast acceleration. Maybe you could think about closing position earlier to not wait for reaching of the stop because it become clear that market is going higher, especially if CPI will be weaker. So that's the tricky moment that we see on the gold market right now. On the hourly chart, you could see the market hits our first XOP. Its market is going around it, but it seems that this is a temporal pause and before silence before the storm. So it's uh, COP starts to release probably just occasionally with some spike volatility. 1837 target also should be reached. So that's what we have currently on the gold. Be extra careful because market is really tricky here. And um, well, it might be interesting, inspiring to trade it, but it's also keeps significant risk right now.